Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, also known as RFAK, started his career as a singer in 1985. Considered to be one of the most popular singers of his era in South Asia, Rahat has received a large number of awards and attention for his work. Although he hailed from Pakistan, he's also sang many songs for Bollywood. Thanks for joining me here on another episode of FCT Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton, and we got a lot to say about this guy, so I'm gonna jump into the facts like everybody has been requesting for us to do facts about him. But before I jump into all the facts, I wanna know, guys, if you love Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, give this video a big thumbs up. Rahad was born into a family of well-known traditional Qawwali musicians and classical singers in Faisalabad, Pakistan. He is the son of Farooq Fateh Ali Khan and the grandson of Fateh Ali Khan. Rahat received training in the different genres of classical music, carrying his family name forward in the lineage of almost 600 years old. Wow! Of course, Rahat was born into a musical family, but not just that, he also received training from one of the best, his uncle, who is also the one and only Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. A lot of people want a video about him as well, so yeah, we're going to be working on that. At the age of 7, he began his formal training with his uncle, and from the age of 15, he was made an integral part of Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan's well-known Kowali group and toured all over the world with him. Now, moving on to fact number 4, all you die-hard fans of RFAK, did you know when he did his first ever stage performance? Well, the first time he performed on stage was at the age of 9 when he toured the United Kingdom with his uncle, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, in the year 1985. He also performed a couple solo songs besides singing with the Kuali Party. Now, after the death of Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan in 1997, Rahat became the lead singer of the group. His breakthrough record, Charka, produced by Rohail Hyatt and released in 2007, was more towards Sufism and established Rahat as one who would carry on definitely the legacy of his family. In comparison, his recent music productions do have more of a commercialized touch to them. When speaking about the commercialization of his music, Rahat said this, You see, most of my songs after Charka are from Bollywood, so there has to be a certain level of commercialization in them. But if you take note of my album Back to Love in 2014, almost all the songs have a Sufian touch, and this is something that you will always find in my music. With the movie Pap in 2004, he stepped into the world of Bollywood playback singing. With the song Lagi Tumsi Man Ki Lagan, everyone who wasn't familiar with Rahat before that time fell in love with his voice from that moment on. Rahat has since lent his voice to several hit Bollywood songs, from singles to duets to complete soundtracks. He has sung for some of the biggest names in Bollywood, including Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan. Talking about some of his favorite composers from modern-day Bollywood, Rahat says he enjoys the work of artists like Shankar Mahadevan, Sajid Ali Wajid Ali, and Vishal Bardwaj, who he believes creates true music. On May 7, 2011, RFAK narrowly escaped death when his manager, Trichesh Srivastava, was killed in a car accident while traveling from Detroit to Chicago for a show. The car that the manager was driving in crashed and flipped several times, killing him and injuring four passengers. The accident happened on Interstate 94 in Michigan, United States. Rahat was not in the car but was on a bus with the rest of the team. Rahat was actually supposed to be in the car, but for some reason he got on the bus with the rest of the band. Some are calling it fate, others are calling it divine intervention, but either way that was a close call and rest in peace to his manager. In terms of his collaborations, Rahat worked in collaboration with Eddie Vedder of the American rock band Pearl Jam and contributed to the soundtrack of the 1995 Hollywood film Dead Man Walking. In 2002, he worked on the soundtrack of The Four Feathers in collaboration with the American composer James Horner. In 2006, his vocals were featured on the soundtrack of Mel Gibson's movie Apocalypto. 
Now we're coming down to the end of this episode. So the celebration of Pakistan Day at the United Nations General Assembly Hall was a huge deal, especially because it was being celebrated for the first time ever on 23rd of March, 2016. During the celebration, there was a concert titled Sufi Night, Music of Peace. The sole performer there was RFAK, who performed many of his hits. Diplomats from 140 countries were present at the concert, and they got to witness his talent live and up front. It was definitely a huge occasion for him, as well as for Pakistan as a nation. Rahat is also one of two Pakistani artists that were invited to the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize to perform at its concert. He performed Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan's song, Tumhe Dilagi, and Mas Kalandar, and he also sang Ayo Pahao. Now, talking to the media about this, RFAK said that it's a moment of pride to represent his country internationally, and he will keep on making efforts to make his country proud. And finally, Rahat, who's known for performing at both public and private events, said that security concerns cause problems when trying to hold public music concerts in Pakistan. He said that there's a lot of problems that don't allow artists to perform in live settings. In fact, security is a prime reason why you don't see him participating in many music festivals that have popped up around the country over the past several years. A major complaint that he has with the government of Pakistan is the lack of support for music in general, which of course affects Pakistani musicians. Rahat believes that Pakistan has an abundance of musical talent. And speaking about this issue, his manager said, Pakistan has so much talent, but unfortunately the government is not doing anything to bring them to the forefront because we're too lost in current affairs. Now that does it for the end of this episode of Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if this is your first time here. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with everything that's going on in my world when I'm not making these videos. And be sure to leave your comments down below on what topics you want us to do next. So now you've reached the end of another video. Don't forget to check out our playlist on all the stars that we have covered here on FTD Facts. Or if you don't want to hear anything more about people, you just want to hear about just amazing places around the world, we have videos for those as well. Come back every Monday to Friday for new videos, and I'll see you real soon.